Hey, how's it going, you guys? I'm Landon Ellerton. And I'm Danny Burke. And I've been thinking recently, the brain is just a wonderful thing. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. But do you think, like, bigger head equals bigger brain? I really hope so. Otherwise, me having a ginormous head is a complete waste of time. But I do think two brains are better than one. We've got two brains here right now. And two parts of a video are better than one, which is why today we have the top 10 amazing facts about the human brain, part two. Coming in at number 10, your brain creates false memories. Have you guys ever talked about a story with a friend or relative and even though you were both there, you remember it completely differently? Well, it might not just be that one of you got it wrong, it could be both of you. Your brain doesn't actually record exactly what you experience in the same way a video camera does. It actually takes snapshots of what is happening and then when you remember the event, it kind of fills in the gaps between these snapshots by just guessing what happened based on previous experiences. Now sometimes it is useful to remember only the important things, other times people can end up remembering things that never actually happened at all. Next up at number 9 now, your brain is the fattest organ in your body. When some people think of the body's fattest organ, they might say the liver or perhaps the stomach where all the fat you know, goes to initially, but you might be surprised to learn that the brain is actually 60% fat. It's a special kind of fat though known as myelin. Myelin is an electrical insulator that protects the nerve cells in your brain. So unlike the fat that might sit around some of our bellies, I think we can let the brain off for being so fat because it really does need it. And now moving into number eight, the reason why you walk into a room and forget why you're there is because of how your brain forms memories. Scientists have found that the brain forms new memories in episodes. Events like opening or closing doors causes the brain to enter new memory episodes, effectively wiping your short-term memory unless you try very hard to remember it. I always find myself staring in a fridge wondering why I've opened it, so I guess my brain keeps starting a new episode when that happens. Next up, in at number 7, your brain paralyzes you when you sleep. When you dream, your brain releases chemicals that paralyze your muscles. Well, paralyze most muscles, because sometimes I have like the, the twitchy hand thing. This will stop your body from acting out what is going on in your dream. In humans distant past, it would be dangerous if you started moving in your sleep. You could hurt yourself or attract predators with all the noise you make. That's why your brain paralyzes you sometimes. If it doesn't work perfectly, you might still swing your arms or kick your leg out while you sleep. Let me know if you guys have any of those like twitchy things at night time. Okay, next up at number six, the human brain has a lot of storage. So the average smartphone these days might have a few hundred gigabytes of memory. It's almost impossible to try and figure out just how much memory your brain has, but one scientific study estimates it could be about 2.5 million gigabytes, or about the same as 12,500 gigabyte smartphones. If you filled your entire brain up with just TV shows back to back, it will come to about 3 million hours. You'd have to sit there and watch it for over 300 years to get from the start to the end. I find that mental. Other people say that this isn't even close to how much the brain can really store and that it could be many, many more times than that. Perhaps even infinite storage. Okay, moving on to number five now. The human brain is still developing until the age 25. Many parts of our bodies are fully developed earlier on in life. By the time you are seven years old, your eyes are pretty much fully developed. By the time you are 16 for a girl or 18 for a guy, you've probably finished growing in height. But for most people, their brains don't stop developing until they're about 25 years old. From the late teens into the early 20s, the brain starts to strengthen connections in the prefrontal cortex and also also trims away unwanted synapses. Now studies have found the result of this is a brain that assesses risk better, regulates emotions better, and is less prone to peer pressure. It's kind of like a puberty hangover. Okay, next up at number four, your brain is constantly filtering out information. It's true. Every second, your brain is being bombarded with information through every one of your senses. If you were to pay attention to it all, all the time, it would be impossible to get anything done. It's called sensory gating. It is the reason why you don't feel your clothes or your skin until I just said it. So you're not aware of it until someone makes mention of it and then you start to notice. You pay attention. And now you wonder how you didn't feel them before. Well, you always did. It's just you didn't realize it. It's the reason why you focus on one conversations in a crowded room, but then you hear your name said in a nearby conversation. It's also the reason why you can't see your nose when you look down, even though you should be able to. Now that I've said that, it's probably the only reason why you can't see. And coming into number three, your brain contains 100 billion neurons. 
Next time you have a clear night sky, look up at the Milky Way galaxy that they're in. You will see thousands, then millions, then billions of stars. Each one is like our sun. There are at least 100 billion stars in the Milky Way, which means you have exactly the same amount of neurons in your brain as there are stars in the galaxy. Okay, next up at number two, your brain contains a special type of neurons called mirror neurons. Have you ever seen someone stub their toe or maybe get their fingers trapped in a door and you physically feel the same pain as them, even though it didn't happen to you? That's all thanks to your mirror neurons, which have been found in various parts of the human brain. They fire off instantly when you witness something painful happen to another person, which is why the feeling is so kind of automatic. When you see your friend stub their little toe, you don't really need to think before you feel it. And finally at number one, you see everything upside down and your brain actually flips the image the right way up. This one blew my mind. Right now, as you're watching this video, our image is hitting the back of your eye upside down. This is a normal result of how light hits a convex lens such as your eye. Your brain then flips this the right way for you. If you want proof of this, push very gently on the bottom right of your eye and you should see a grey spot appear somewhere in the top left. That's because the bottom right is responsible for seeing the complete opposite which is the top left. Well guys, there you have it. That was our second part of the top 10 amazing facts about the human brain. There's so much more we can learn about the human brain, so let me know, do you guys want a part three? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. But that's it for this video. I'm Landon Delitzsche. I'm Danny Burke. Make sure you subscribed if you haven't done so already. There's more videos next to Landon over there if you wanna keep watching, and we'll both see you in the next video.